Okay, first thing I'm going to do is make a mold of my hand. I'm using alginate to make the mold. It's a skin safe mold making powder that you add to water. Once the alginate set, I used foaming urethane to cast a lightweight model of my hand. It takes about 45 minutes for it to harden. Then I demold the hand, being careful to try to not break it while removing it from the alginate. There we go. I removed the excess foam to just leave the shape of the hand. So it doesn't really matter that some of the detail uh, is lost because this is just going to go under the sock. It's just to make it look like there's actually a hand that was in there. So now that we have the hand, I need to cut it in the way that the hand is going to move. I want it to turn this way, this way, and then open. Okay, I got these high torque servos to use. So they're all metal instead of plastic. And hopefully that will mean that once the sock is on, it'll still be able to move pretty well. Okay, so I just connected this up to do a little test. So this is the servo, battery pack, and receiver. And then, let's see, if I move this knob on the remote, then I can move the servo. Okay, before I finalize everything, I'm going to do a test with a sock actually on this hand. Hopefully it's gonna be able to move it. Just broke the thumb. Okay. I'm gonna have to use this epoxy sculpting dough to reinforce all of the fingers um, so that it's strong enough to have the sock on there. This is two part epoxy sculpting dough. So you take equal size balls and you mix them together. And what's nice is because they're different colors, you just keep mixing until they're the same color. So they're white and gray, and it'll just turn a light gray. If you see swirls, it's not mixed enough. Put this on a thumb. I'm going to test fit the sock onto here and see if it will still move when the sock is on. Okay, I got the sock on this thing. Uh, it's looking very tight, so I don't know if it's going to be able to move. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, it can turn his head, so that's a good sign. And let's see, can it... Wow, it's actually... Hello, how are you? I need to figure out, I could probably put stuffing in right here to fix where the bottom of the thumb um, goes. But let's see, if it's just like laying on the table. 
Hello. Hello. How are you? Mildly horrific. <laughs> So here you go, here's a final remote control sock puppet. It's a little uh, deranged looking, but it does work. And it's totally wireless, which is cool. So I think if I, if I were gonna try to do this again, I would want the hand to be much more down because even though it's like up like this, it doesn't look like a normal sock puppet. It's kind of it's more this way, but like it kind of has to be tilted at this, I guess, yeah. So for a normal sock puppet, your hand is kind of tilted to the side instead of like, you're not gonna do it straight up like this, like this. So then it's like, now you have to hold it at a weird angle to be able to see its face, which is kind of weird. And I was hoping it could just lay on the ground, but that looks per particularly horrific. I guess you can still get the gist if it's like. Help me! Help me! I don't know. I'm falling, and I can't get up. Help me, please! I mean. <laughs> well, there you go. Wireless robotic sock puppet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very weird video.